Wow. Hello. Welcome back to the shop. <laughs> Today, <laughs> we are talking about a beautiful piece of hardware. The uh, the gorgeous uh, 2020 Cole Python. Uh, we got a thousand runs through this. We're going to do a thousand run review. I'm going to talk to you guys about how this thing has held up over time and how it's doing now. Let's get down on the bench. Okay, so what we have here is we've got a beautiful 2020 Colt Python. This thing has held up remarkably well over time. Uh, like I said, we got a thousand rounds through here. We've got an excellent double action trigger and a, a very good single action trigger uh, with very little over travel on that uh, to me this is very impressive by uh, by modern standards most of the new guns that we see that are coming out don't have this don't have a, a double action trigger that's that's this good and they also don't feature fully forged internal parts we've got a cut look we got a couple of uh metal injected molded parts in here but they're not critical you get i got other videos that that where we take the side plate off of this thing and we go through what's going on with it but the, and this isn't that video but we've got a really nice sight picture here what we can see what fur what we can see going on on top let me bring you down we'll zoom you in and see if we can find that now would we like some sort of uh you know maybe a white u dot or a white u back there yeah sure that's you know that would be cool i, I don't think it's terribly necessary cool part is is we got a stainless steel finish here and this thing has held up remarkably well over time this gun is currently dirty so we've got rounds through this it just went it just went to the range and it's just back from the range so uh, we've got something that's held up remarkably well here, and I can take this thing and toss this in, in, in my ultrasonic. I can toss this cylinder into my ultrasonic cleaner, and we can get that thing all cleaned out. It's been great. Um, what I have had, I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring this down in. Maybe we can get a glimpse of it here. Um, what I have had, uh, you can kind of see it, a little blonde this little blonde streak that's going this way, uh, that's actually from that's actually from speed loading. So the speed loading going the speed loader going in and out of, in and out and in and out of there and uh, uh, shells hitting that on on ejection, you know stuff like that. That's that's sort of a rotor away the grip. Now it's a wooden stock. We can just we can do something about this laminated wood, and we can repair this uh, this situation without you know, without too much trouble, but it, it, it just is what it is, right? A um, couple of things. Now, I have to say, I never sent this back. This has been in my possession the whole time. This has not gone back to Colt. This hasn't gone anywhere else. I haven't had any behavioral issues with that. There have been a couple a couple of people complaining, uh, you know, and Colt said that there was some stuff going on with some loose side plates here on the side. Uh, whether Whatever happened with that, that that's that that's no more. And really, and any time a company releases a new design, which this is, it's a new mechanism on an old, you know, on an old aesthetic, um, which I dig. I think that's really cool. But anytime a company works like that, you're going to have issues off of the hop. I mean, it's just, it's just the way the world works. Got a really low serial number here. Eight, uh, let's see, eight, eight Oh three. Um, so we're, we're within the first, uh, you know, we're, the, we're, we're within the first, uh, 10,000 guns or so an 8,000, uh, 8,003 serial number. So, uh, it, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool design. Uh, we haven't had any crown issues or anything like that, but having, uh, being able to replace this front sight is pretty neat. I mean, yeah, we went with some sight replacement stuff. Let's kind of talk about some of the things that are bad. Now, I know this is inconsequential in this particular gun. Uh, we don't have any forward locking up here. This is a complaint of mine that there is no other locking. It just locks here at the back of the star. And we're going to get into that here in a second. But uh, one of the things that really does, does bother me is that uh, we got a little bit of we got a little bit of uh, a wobbly run out here. I'm sure you guys can see that in the. Uh, I'm sure you guys can see that in the camera. But I'll use some uh, high contrast here, and we can sort of see. We got a good, you know, 20, 25, 30 thou maybe of run out there. Uh, again, in, inconsequential. All we're, the, the only thing that this is operating is just the ejector, but it's there. It exists, right? <clears throat> so let's get into what, let's get into what my, 
what my problems are. I don't have, and for that, I don't, uh, that being said, I don't have many. Um, I think this, this thing has been remarkably easy to service. I have taken it apart a couple of times and putting it back together and it's, and it's, it's been running great, um, with all different, all kinds of ammo, all, uh, and we shoot mostly 357 here. You're going to want to hang out for the end of the video. Cause I'm going to toss in some, uh, I'm going to toss in some, uh, some interesting load data, uh, with a sort of a back to back of a hand load versus a factory load, but uh, we'll get into that in a minute. But so we can see at the back of the star here, this is the only place that the gun actually locks up. There's a uh, a reciprocating a reciprocating stud right here. I'm not talking about myself, but there's a stud right there, and that's where the uh, and that's where the cylinder locks up on. Now this is a pretty heavy wheel. Uh, we only got six holes here. If we take this measurement, we can actually, I think that there, there's enough meat here to actually get seven, but yeah, that's, you know, that's, that, that, that has yet to be determined. We also have a, a pretty short, a pretty short cylinder there. Um, but, uh, one of the things that really bothers me is that we have, we've taken this and updated, completely updated this design. This is all brand new. So we've updated this design uh mechanically however we started on the inside and then kind of stopped on the outside so we still got a really you can see it inside of this cylinder window we still have this tiny 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 bolt um this uh this i mean this is not cool you know this is it's a really really tiny bolt and this thing this is a heavy heavy cylinder so my complaint here is we've done all this work We've we've uh, we've taken this old design and then and then modified it. However, and if you want to keep the put, I don't care. Push pull as long as I can get the cylinder open. It doesn't matter to me. I'll teach myself how to do it. I'll train how to do it. The issue that I have here is that there's no other locking. Right? We could have very easily put some kind of ball detent here on the here on the crane and then uh, and then on the frame. Right? That that would have been cool. Something to keep the chatter down. Right, we want people to have the 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 greatest chance of success at this thing. Uh, I know, look, I know Colt. The Colt says that they got thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds through these, and they've all held up. And I'm sure that they have in sing, maybe in single action. But I don't. I just don't see running this thing at full wick in double action all the time. Just snap, 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 and um, and not having an issue and not wa uh, wallowing out these holes or or kind of or or uh, bending that bolt um so that's that's some of the things i i think that this is a fantastic design i'd love to see them continue to expand on this uh, i can't say enough how much i love this thing it's it's one of my i'm a, I'm a diehard s and w fan and this is one of my and this is still one of my favorite revolvers it's super accurate and i really like shooting it it's cool i can take my kid out and shoot it and i don't have to worry about uh you know devalue uh, about devaluing something beautiful right we've got a great gun here and it's meant to be shot So for those of you who have been who are curious about the holster situation, we're not. <laughs> I've put a lot of rounds through this gun. I bought a couple holsters with it, a couple holsters for it, and then send them back. Uh, this it, I don't know the make of this. It just says Patrolman is stamped on the back, but uh, this old swivel holster has been absolutely wait for it pivotal. Yeah, that's right. Um, you, you go ahead and unsubscribe. Uh, has been has been pivotal in in, in its in its longevity. I, I think that some of these old some of these old drop legs are actually are actually super useful, um, especially if you're if you're carrying sort of um, and you've got your UTV. Uh, you pop this thing out uh, and and you can swivel that back and forth and you can sit down in the truck or get out of the truck get in and out of the truck really easily. But 
this thing, uh, I can't say enough about the new Python. Honestly, I feel as though that, that these that these are the best Python that's been ever made, and I know a bunch of people are laughing out of their seats right now. But I'm telling you guys, the whole thing is is that this I can take out and I can shoot with my kit, right? I had a I had a 70s Python. I had a, a Colt Trooper. There's like three guys left that that can that can get these things all tuned up. Uh, that can get the ore guns all tuned up and get them all back on time. And the whole reason for that is everybody and their brother has got one of these, has got a vintage, uh, a, a, a vintage Python that's just sitting in a box that hasn't got shot yet. Um, and this is something that's going to that's gonna go out and get shot. This is what's going to prolong, this is what's going to prolong the legacy of the Colt Python. This is what's going to keep Future generations wanting, wanting to, wanting to get into wheel guns is wanting one of the most beautiful handguns ever made. It's gorgeous. I think this thing has held up remarkably well. Um, I'm so excited that Colt has decided to get back in the game with double action revolvers. I would love to see them just expand on this idea, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. If you liked the video, like the video. Catch us on Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya, Uncle Hank Fire out.